Southern California is bracing for Hurricane Hillary expected to pummel the West Coast this weekend. Yeah, it sounds bad. Forecasters say torrential rains, flash floods, debris flows could cause some serious damage along with powerful winds and dangerous surf conditions along the coast. Right now, Hillary is headed toward the Baja California Peninsula. A hurricane has not made landfall here in Southern California for almost 84 years. We have live team coverage of the approaching storm. Meteorologist Vera Jimenez is in our weather center tracking Hillary's path. We begin with KTLA's Rachel Menatov live in Hermosa Beach where storm preps are underway tonight. Rachel. Micah Sandy, good evening. The hurricane seems to be intensifying in the Pacific Ocean southwest of Mexico as it eventually makes its way here this weekend. And many people who live and work by the water are bracing for its potential impact. The calm before the storm, many people enjoying a day at the beach ahead of what's scheduled to be somewhat of a tumultuous weekend. The ongoing heat set to transition into strong winds, big waves, intense rain and possibly flash flooding. It's a sudden change of climate actually. The, the, the weather nowadays is kind of weird. It's just uh, changing the just uh, it's like a blink of an eye. It changes right now. Hillary is gathering strength off the coast of Mexico. It's expected to weaken as it reaches Southern California thanks to cooler ocean temperatures. Experts predict it will downgrade to a tropical storm by the time it moves into our area. We have had tropical storms in years past, but it doesn't happen often. There was a hurricane that hit San Diego back in the 1850s. So um, only a couple of systems have really made a direct hit on um, the state of California, Southern California. The last time a tropical storm caused destruction in Southern California was in September 1939. It was referred to as the Lash of St. Francis and it came ashore near San Pedro. Heavy rain and huge waves seriously damaged Belmont Shore and Long Beach, yanking homes off their foundations and washing them out to sea. A cautionary tale for people here in Hermosa Beach. Officials this morning clearing out this storm drain by the pier, anticipating anywhere from two to three inches of rain. We don't know what the final track is going to be for Hurricane Hillary, but it has the potential to, to bring some large surf our way. There's some weather potential that could cause some thunderstorms and lightning strikes potentially on our beach, um, and then also rough seas, depending on how much wind we actually get here along the coast. Candace Norville is the founder of Ivy House Art Gallery in downtown Hermosa. Her main concern is her store's antique stained glass windows and front doors originally installed in the 60s. We have some big, huge um, pieces of wood and, and scrap canvases that we're going to use to wrap the windows and doors in so that we can try to protect that and possibly tarp the roof as well. And of course, a lot can change and evolve over the next few days, but LA County officials want to make sure that people are safe on the beaches. They are prepared to evacuate these areas in the event of thunder and lightning. If you do happen to see elevated surf, it's a good idea to ask the lifeguard before going in the water and for boaters. Sunday and Monday will not be good days to be on the water. That's the very latest from Hermosa Beach. I'm Rachel Menatoff. I'll send it back inside to both of you. All right, Rachel, thank you. Let's turn it over to Vera right now. Vera, just kind of crazy for us to be talking about a hurricane here. Yeah, well, the interesting thing is keep in mind that uh, I think we should probably refer to this system as more of a tropical cyclone because that kind of describes the overall uh, in life cycle of the entire system. Uh, right now, it is a Category 3 hurricane, as I'll show you right now. By the way, here's what it looks like in our Huntington Beach camera. So it's beautiful out there. You can see that there is a hint of marine there. But let's go ahead and take a look at that track. Of course, right now it's sitting as a category three. Wind speeds are at 125 miles per hour. Those gusts are now much higher than they were earlier. They're 10 miles per hour stronger at 150. Still moving in the same direction, west northwest at 14 miles per hour. And as it continues to move towards Southern California into the Baja area, it is going to uh, increase in strength to a category four. But then as it gets closer to the uh, area, we are going to see it downgrade to a category one. And then as soon as it hits landfall, that's pretty much it. It loses its strength and then it becomes a tropical storm. And now it could possibly make landfall here as a tropical storm. Now that hasn't happened since 1939, but we have had many systems like K, for example, last year, who did have a strong impact. It did bring some really gusty 
gusty winds and some strong rainfall. Uh, not nearly as much as we're going to get potentially with this system. So we'll talk about those numbers and the details and the comb, which I think is really, really important to touch on. Uh, so we'll have all those details for you coming up shortly. For now, though, I'll send it back to you guys. Thank you, Vera.